Benjamin Deaver, thank you for coming to the Snowflake offices today. Hey, no, thank you so much for having me here in San Mateo. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Really excited to be able to talk to you about the exciting things that we've developed in our partnership with Snowflake. Yeah, this is a super interesting partnership because so many Snowflake customers have asked me how to move data from their SAP to their Snowflake account. And you have good news for us. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, We've got some really exciting uh, development to share. Um, what we're going to talk about today is a product from SNP, which is SNP Glue, and specifically about the SNP Glue connector for SAP, which is a, a Snowflake native application. And what makes this SNP Glue special? Oh, so what we have is a product that's going to be able to push data from the SAP NetWeaver stack. We're going to be pushing it to Snowflake on our own Snowflake connector, and then being able to make sure that the data is immediately available for reporting, and we manage the consumption of the data into Snowflake, and then consolidate and merge it together, all in one fell swoop, behind the scenes, totally managed by SNP Glue. So one of our recent innovations and a recent announcement, there's actually a couple of them I want to go into today, but the first is our use of the Snowpipe streaming API. And so we are using Snowflake's new methodology for being able to seamlessly integrate data in a near real-time capacity. So what that means is that the data is going to be available in Snowflake as soon as it hits. Previously, when you were doing bulk load methodologies, you had to wait for everything to be put into a staging area. You'd have to wait for a JDBC execution to take place. Now we're in a position where the moment that data crosses the threshold into Snowflake, it is immediately reportable, which is is a huge benefit to the customers. The secondary benefit to that is, and we've found this out recently in working with our customers, it's also substantially cheaper for the customers. So it's kind of a win-win there. It's available faster and it's cheaper to get there. Now, the second piece that I want to talk to you about today is SNP and Snowflake, uh, through partnership, have rolled out a native application, data streaming for SAP within the Snowflake ecosystem. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it substantially easier and faster to be able to consolidate your SAP data in the Snowflake data cloud. And what that means is that, so within SAP, you have what we consider to be like high churn data sets. You have these huge data sets of all of this um, you know, accounting or transactional data that spans multiple years. You're talking about billions upon billions upon billions of records of data. Well, the challenge is that you can have updates that take place anywhere within that data stack. And so within Snowflake, when you have individualized updates that come through, it's possible that you're having to move partitions around and those merge patterns can become you know, relatively inefficient very quickly. Our native application allows us to be able to keep the data readily available, reportable, and allows us to control that merge operation in the background on a scheduled basis so that once again, the data is available faster the entire operation is cheaper, the loading is cheaper, and so the customer ends up with kind of a win-win-win scenario. That's great. Win-win-win as native app, Snowpipe streaming. And when we're talking about SAP data, are we talking about any particular SAP data? That's a great question. Really what we're talking about is, I mean, I can spend five minutes describing all the data we can integrate, so let's just kind of consolidate that down. Any data that is accessible within the NetWeaver stack can be integrated to Snowflake via SNP Glue. Any structured data, let me clarify that. Any structured data that exists on that SAP NetWeaver stack. Now, one other clarifying point that I want to make, and this is going to matter to the SAP folks out there, whenever we talk about SAP, people tend to focus exclusively on the ERP side. This is a NetWeaver stack add-on. So whether it's ECC, S4HANA, CRM, SRM, Solution Manager, GRC, BW, SNP Glue can integrate data from those applications to Snowflake, no problem. I know you have a demo showing all this off, but before we go into the demo, who is using this product? No, it's a great question. So one of our flagship customers is probably the, the one of the largest SAP implementations who's also a Snowflake customer, it's Siemens AG. They're one of the, if not the largest manufacturer in Germany, and they use SNP Glue to be able to integrate their data in a near real-time capacity up to Snowflake and have for several years now. That's a huge customer, and I'm sure a lot of other customers are trying this out. Now, can you show me where SNP Glue fits within the Snowflake and SAP space? Hey, absolutely. I've got a couple of architecture slides. Let me walk you through it. As you'll see up on the screen, 
when you're looking at kind of the the whole ecosystem, that whole enterprise architecture, you see there's SAP applications and, and a whole bunch of other non-SAP stuff. So SNP Glue is going to fit in as the integration layer. It's the extraction and loading layer that fits between your SAP ecosystems and Snowflake. Now there's other tools that are gonna bring in all of the non-SAP data that's gonna reside in Snowflake, but SNP Glue is going to handle your ECC, your ERP, S4, BW, whatever's on a NetWeaver stack. We'll be able to bring that data across, we'll be able to push it into Snowflake, and then at that point, Inside of the Snowflake data platform, you have the rich partner ecosystem to be able to model the data out, be able to join the SAP and non-SAP data, and then at that point be able to really generate the value proposition for our customers. Now, one of the things I really want you to focus on, though, is that you'll see that third piece on there is the marketplace and third-party data and applications. That's where our, our native application is going to sit. And so jumping forward, let's talk specifically about how SNP Glue's architecture is going to work. So SNP Glue, again, it's an add-on for your SAP NetWeaver stack. Now that's really important for the SAP folks, but I'll gloss over it for the time being. We're going to hook directly into that Snowpipe streaming API, and we're going to be able to push. So from the NetWeaver stack, we're affirmatively pushing the data up to Snowflake, and inside of the native application, what we're doing is we are writing to what we're calling a staging table. This is an incremental update. It's your audit log. It's got your CDC indicators, so you're capturing, is it, be, is it a change, is it an insert, is it a delete? Now we've got that audit log that's being stored, and then off to the side, we've got what we're calling the main table. That's the consolidated data model. Between those is that merge. That merge is the piece where in the actual application, in the native application, we've got that scheduled back backend process, which will pull from the staging table over to the main, consolidate the data set together. But again, remember, it's happening on your schedule not with every record that comes in. And so you have much more effective consolidation of the data. Now, the real value proposition here, like behind the scenes, that's great. It's doing all this stuff for you. The real value proposition here is that that consumption view that is sitting on top of both the staging and main table. The consumption view means that the most up-to-date data will be available the moment it's committed to Snowflake. The data will continue to be available while that merge process is running. That means that your business users can get the benefit of data streaming into Snowflake and being immediately available while also having the backend business value of the native application, which is reducing the overall compute cost, reducing the hardware requirements, and consolidating that data set down for you as we go. This is a great way to architecture all these parts. Now, can we jump into the demo? Absolutely. Let me jump over to the demo right now. So as you'll see, we're jumping into an SAP system. So SNP Glue is an add-on to the NetWeaver stack. Now, as we jump into this, what you're gonna see is that the entire solution resides within its own namespace. We use standard best practices for our development patterns. We store and consolidate all of the development objects inside of underlying packages and folders. Again, using standard best practices for development in the ecosystem. Now, one of the things I mentioned earlier is that we really look at this as an extract and load pattern. What you're seeing up on the screen right now in our orchestration layer, there is a full-fledged transformation layer that is available to you if needed. So that is capable. You can see that we're pulling across metadata from the underlying NetWeaver stack. And then as we jump forward, we're looking at the development objects right now. But as we jump into this, what's also important is to note, how do we actually connect to Snowflake? Remember, this is being driven from the NetWeaver stack. And so as we open these, these folders up, you can see our Snowpipe streaming connection as we jump into this. This is very standard SAP administrative tasks and very standard connection details that you would use for connecting to a Snowflake account. So there's nothing in here that is going to cause any underlying issues within our, our various systems. So as we're jumping in, inside of our Glue ecosystem, you've got our scheduler. I've got a scheduler that's running right now that's basically streaming data up into Snowflake via the Snowpipe streaming API. Right now, I'm pulling up these requests. You can see in here, data is being generated 
as those little boxes turn green, you know it's being delivered. And so what you're seeing is that these are sub-second run times. Hundreds and thousands of records are being delivered, but they're being delivered in this incremental ongoing basis and flowing up to Snowflake. And so as we're watching this data get generated, and it will continue to be generated, now we can start flipping over to the actual Snowflake landscape and looking to be able to see, okay, let's see how the data is processing and, and coming into Snowflake. So we're gonna start off by looking at a dashboard. This dashboard is going to show us what's going on behind the scenes as the native app is running. So this dashboard is showing us, okay, we have a Delta count. That's our staging table that's coming in. We have a main count. That main count is that main consolidated data set. And then the view is consolidated. Now what you just saw was the Delta drop down the main increased, that consolidation event ran in the background. There was no performance degradation. The view maintained stability. The data was reportable the entire way. We never saw any huge draw on system resources. And so we never had any loss of fidelity or access to the data. The native app is doing that in the background for us. And as we jump into the native app, we'll jump through the Snowflake front end. I'm pulling up the native application right now. You can see that we're you know, just jumping through the steps for the native app to start up, and we'll be able to see what the actual configuration settings look like in it. So as the merge user interface is coming up, you can see we have five merge tables, five are active. There's really not a whole lot of configuration you need to do. Right here, we have a warehouse, some suffixes, and the schedule. Those are the only pieces that you actually really need to configure. The rest of this is all automatically controlled through the SNP Glue ecosystem. So we're not kidding when we tell you how easy it is to set this up and make it run. Really quite simple. Now we're back to our dashboard, and the dashboard is simply showing the progress of the app. Again, in our main table, we're up to 60,000 rows of data, where our delta is continuing to increase. And remember, our native application is running on about a one minute basis. And so here in a few, in a few seconds, we'll see that the delta count drops back down. So Delta counts continuing to increase. Now, as we jump into the native app, one of the things I wanna show you is how can you actually find the data streaming for SAP application? If you just click over to the marketplace in your actual Snowflake account, go up to the search button, you search for SAP or SNP, either one of those will pull back and you can see the SNP glue connector for SAP. Now from here, it's a free connector, it's a free add-on for SNP glue. A lot of our contact information is based in here, as well as a tremendous amount of information about the application itself. And from here, you can install and you're good to go and be able to start using it in conjunction with the SAP add-on SNP Glue. I love how you are mixing the best of SAP with the best of Snowflake and making it all work together. Absolutely. It's, it's an exciting application that solves a, a lot of ongoing data integration problems for some of the largest organizations on earth. You know, you think about what we're trying to do here. SAP data is, from a value perspective, is arguably some of the most valuable data on earth. You think about the amount of world revenue that runs through SAP data and SAP systems, and the underlying value proposition of that data itself is, is substantial. And so why would we not want to make sure that's integrated with our data platform and our, our full ecosystem? Some people wonder, um, like, in Snowflake, you have unlimited compute resources. What about SAP? What kind of workload does this put on SAP? No, that's, that's a great question. So SAP, generally speaking, is going to be bounded by some limit to the amount of work processes that can be dedicated to it. SNP Glue is really effective at making sure that it's not impactful to the backend system. Now, remember, we're pushing data from the SAP landscapes. We're pushing data from those NetWeaver stacks. That allows us to only draw work processes when we need them. We are also near real time shifting the data up to Snowflake, which means that we're moving smaller chunks of data more frequently. So instead of taking a big collection of work processes for a long period of time, we're sending smaller packages of data up to Snowflake because that's the most effective way of kind of leveling out the impact. And so the short version is that it's really not a very impactful um, event on the backend SAP ecosystems. Now let's talk a little bit about you. You are a SAP expert. Um, 
you know a lot about Snowflake. What's What has been your career like to get to this place? No, absolutely. I've been in the SAP space for over 20 years now. I've really been focused on data integration. My pedigree is I started off as an SAP developer. I got into data warehousing, analytics, data integration. And so I've been really focused on data integration and data management, like I said, for about 20 years now. I got involved with Snowflake probably five, six years ago. Thought it was a really exciting platform and actually had an opportunity to work on a couple of projects where we were integrating data from SAP systems to Snowflake. And it is very difficult, in my opinion, to be able to bridge that gap. SNP Glue becomes an easy button to be able to move that SAP data into the Snowflake data platform and, and really be able to kind of short circuit that so that you can just jump to the value generation aspect that comes from having your SAP data in Snowflake. When did you join SNP? I've been with SNP for probably three and a half years at this point, and I came in through acquisition of another firm. Your role today is? I'm our senior solution architect and I help lead our solution architecture practice and uh, for North America. Cool. And when you work with customers, when you present to them the solution, uh, what have you learned from them? Oh, I've learned a tremendous amount. Probably the biggest thing that I've learned is that you know, within SAP, there is so many different ways to be able to do different things. There's so much disparate and discrete data. It's such a complex data model. Everybody has unique problems and challenges. And so being able to have a solution like SNP Glue that can allow you to be able to shift any data up to Snowflake is going to be a huge differentiator because it doesn't matter how you know, customer A versus customer B is, is performing some given business process. We can move all of the data for them. And what's in the roadmap? What can people look forward to? Oh, there's a tremendous amount of really exciting stuff in the roadmap. Um, expansion of functionality is a huge piece. Continuing to expand upon our partnership with Snowflake and take advantage of new technologies and capabilities. Being able to bring our expertise into AI and ML realms around SAP data. As I mentioned, it's a very complex data model that is not the same between different versions of SAP. So being able to bring our expertise to be able to jumpstart those value propositions on platforms like Snowflake is a big part of our roadmap. This is great. I'm looking forward to those demos. Now, for people that want to learn more, where should they go? Hey, absolutely. You can either reach out directly to me. You can find me online through LinkedIn, Benjamin Deaver. You can go to our company's website, snpgroup.com, or you can just search for SNP on the Snowflake Marketplace, pull up our native application, and in all of the documentation, there is our contact information. Well, Benjamin, thank you for joining us today. This was a great presentation. Hey, thank you very much for having me. I really enjoyed being here. And thank you everyone for watching. Now you know, if you want to learn more, find SMP Glue, find it in the Snowflake Marketplace. And for more developer content, go to developers.snowflake.com. And to watch more videos, just remember to subscribe and like this one. I'm Felipe Hoffa. Thanks a lot.